brothers and sisters on the diaspora for coming back to Thank you, sir. Sure, they have to work on the platform. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dinis Demir. We are here at the State House for today's citizenship confirmment. I'm so excited. We're about to have some new Sierra Leoneans, and it's going to be an awesome, awesome day. So, brother, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? So, brother, how you doing? How you doing? Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? What's up? How you doing? I made it. What's up? What's up? Good morning. Huh? Thank you. I know you did. It's the king's share. It's the king's share. That's why. It's the king's share. See, so when you win, you sit in a chair like this. When you win, you sit in a chair like this. I'm looking for a king. <laughs> What's up, Marcus? You get your passport today? Sir, tell me about that. I'm excited. Huh? <laughs> you put it on my tab. And Just, dollars too, not Leon. Just put it on my tab. Just put it on my tab. Uh, <laughs> Emory, you only want five at a time? Yeah, we, yeah, and we are arranging the situation. I have five. You want me to keep calling? Keep wait, calling, wait, 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 just wait. coming as us. Okay. So my people are the first five. <laughs> my people are the first five. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. <laughs> my people are the first five. <laughs> Larry Smith. Uh, oh, that comes from. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna research. Uh, oh, y'all look so good. Sometimes because you're quite a lot, so normally it takes quite a long time to do. So um, we're going to start the process now by you signing, and then once the president comes, the president also sign. So by the time we start the program, we just to issue a passport. So we make it nice and short. Okay? <laughs> so you yes, they are coming with the mic. Yes, that's why I was asking if I'm calling with the And also I'll use this period as well to check your names. Blanche Antoinette Williams. That's on. Yeah. <laughs> Keshu L. Hill. Vajil Lee Seals III. If we have our phones with us, our phones, we either switch them off or put them on silent because we don't want them to disrupt during the proceedings. And also, we have our official photographers who will be taking pictures. And therefore, we advise that we don't use our individual phones to take pictures because otherwise, they have the tendency to disrupt during the program. Thank you very much. Good 
the arrival of His Excellency the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Brigadier General Retired Dr. Julius Madabio, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. a sense of nationalism and patriotism so that loyalty to the state shall override sectional, ethnic, tribal or other loyalties. C. Protect and preserve public property, prevent misappropriation and squandering of funds belonging to the government, local authorities or public corporations. D. Help enhance the power prestige and good name of the state and defend the state and render national service as may be required. E. Respect the dignity and religion of other individuals and the rights and interests of others. F. Make positive and useful contributions to the advancement, progress and well-being of the community wherever he or she resides. G. Work conscientiously in a lawful and choosing occupation and abstain from any activity detrimental to the general welfare of others. H. Ensure the proper control and upbringing of his or her children and ward. H. Ensure, sorry, I. Participate in and defend all democratic processes and practices. And lastly, J. Render assistance to appropriate and lawful agencies in the maintenance of law and order. Having read the duties of the citizen as provided for in our constitution, I will now invite our compatriots to be to willingly rise and take and subscribe to the oath of allegiance. When I say I, you read your name on the warrant. I do swear, do swear that I will be faithful, I will be faithful and, bear and bear true allegiance to the Republic, to the Republic according, to law, according to law, and that, and that I, will support, I will support and uphold, and uphold the, constitution the Constitution of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone as by law. Established. So help me God of Allah. Thank you very much. And can you give a round of applause for the old manager? And on behalf of the Excellency the President, I want to congratulate you. Shalim Curry Goldsberg. Congratulations. James Robert Lord. James, Latrice Annette Brooks. Thank you very much, Latrice. Nathaniel Brooks, the fourth.
Congratulations, Mr. Fanning. Gregory Colin McNeely. Gregory Colin McNeely. Congratulations, Gregory. Eric Kent Meadows. Congratulations, Eric. Larry L. Smith. Larry L. Smith. Congratulations, Larry. Tamari Mary MC Kant. Congratulations, Tamara. Blanche Antoinette Williams. Congratulations, Isha. Vajin Lee for officially presenting your passport, which is a symbolic ceremony. You are now citizens of Sahel. Thank you very much. You may now take your seat. And whose heart is always in the right place. Some call him champion for fresh freedom. Some call him the inspirator in chief. And today we are going to call him the champion of hospitality in Sierra Leone. And therefore it is my distinguished, it's my distinct pleasure to invite His Excellency the President for a response. A round of applause for His Excellency the President. immigration officer, fellow citizens, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. It is a great pleasure to welcome all of you here this morning after we have celebrated our country's 61st independence. We thank you for joining us to continue those celebrations here today. Today, we celebrate our common ascension. We welcome each and every one of you back home with open arms. You actually never left. Your DNA says you have always been of us and with us. And that is why we are all gathered here today. All around us are dotted historical reminders and monuments of departure and of arrivals in this country. Some sad and harrowing. Some celebratory from Bones Island to the cotton tree just very close to here under which the very first set of settlers gathered to thank the Lord for their safe return home in 1787. On these very grounds, the company built a company built a fort 
one that guaranteed the physical safety of the colony's inhabitants, but also assured that they were here to stay and to make this home. And as they stayed, so too did they urge you to stay and make this your home. Two days ago, we celebrated our country's independence. We celebrated in peace, a peace that only the fourth most peaceful country in Africa and one of the most peaceful, friendly people in Africa know. The joy, the joy of living in a country that fought off three successive waves of COVID-19 and is now certified by CDC in the United States as a very low-risk nation. A tough and optimistic people who history has, has kicked down several times, but who we always get up, dust themselves, and keep moving on with purpose. The freedom of living in a country where we have abolished the death penalty, removed all libel laws, unfettered the press, reduced prison populations, joined the International Religious Freedom of Belief Alliance, and protected and promoted the rights of women and the disabled. The optimism of living in a nation where every child is assured of free quality education, where every car we get justice if she ever became a victim of sexual violence. Where more people, especially in the rural areas, have access to quality healthcare within a five mile radius. Where there is increased access to electricity, portable water, and where quality roads and infrastructure are opening up markets, trade, and services. The hope of knowing that one is living in a nation that has successively passed the scorecard of the Millennium Challenge Corporation of the United States for lowering corruption and ruling justly. The assurance that this government is business friendly and has opened up the business ecosystem, especially for, for private investment where your investments are protected and you can make and repatriate or reinvest profits as you so wish. This is our Serenium under the new direction of the state. I'm also informed that you have engaged with ministries, departments, and agencies in heritage business and investment workshops. Some of you are in the process of acquiring your very own slice of this beautiful country. I'm planning to relocate families some of you have immersed yourselves in local communities and cultures of your heritage. I can hardly tell, except for your accent. <laughs> I thought I was in my village. <laughs> Always be positive ambassadors who we rebrand and promote Serenium, ladies and gentlemen. When I took over the reins of power four years ago, this was a country that had almost been forsaken because of our history, of, because of the stigma of the past, of the wars, of uh, corruption, of mismanagement, of calamities. But I took the challenge to go around the world and change that narrative. And I will tell you, it is changing. Make this your home and a destination for investment. Promote innovation, entrepreneurship, and invest in areas and attracts that you can afford. That is an invitation to you. They do say, say life can turn on a dime. And there are great opportunities here to make dollars out of times, ladies and gentlemen. Leverage your contacts and use your skills to support inclusive growth and sustainable 
development in our common home. With that mindset, I see no reason why the government of Australia should not assign acres of land for free anywhere in this country to our diaspora families. Yes! <laughs> A salon reunion city, we could name it, could be, and um, I hope we believe in and we pursue dreams with unrelenting energy. However, however you want to be Sierra Leonean, be so. Be the Sierra Leonean that you want to be. This is the land of your heritage. This is your ancestral home. It is our home together. It is the realm of the free. Exalt and protect it, its good name at all times, as I do all the time. Great should be the love that you always have for this, our great nation. Together and family, let us stand united to sing the praise of our native land. And in all that you do, and in all you want to do, know that my government will always give you a nurturing hand. You can probably relate to Elvis, Elvis Presley's lyrics that home is where the heart is. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is home. This is where the heart is. Again, on behalf of the government and people of Sierra Leone, I truly welcome all of you back home. Always come back. You don't need invitation anymore. This is home. Thank you. All right, quickly, Erin, come, 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 come. All right, that's it. One, two, three, go. Sierra Leoneans. So we have a new batch. I'm sorry, a new group of Sierra Leoneans. What a beautiful day. What a blessing. <laughs> Mr. President, anything you'd like to say? This is a great opportunity to meet up with our brothers and sisters from the diaspora who are coming back to Thank you, sir. Sure they have to work on your platform. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.
passport at? Are they using it? Yes, let's go. That's passport. Where's your passport? How you feel, Larry? I'm lost for words. I'm so excited. Lost for words. I am so happy. Uh huh. They will see me back. <laughs> and thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Dinah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.